I don't just talk about other people's stuff. I also make my own. Books in particular. To date, I have four books you can check out on Amazon. Operation Red Dragon, The Daikaiju Wars Part 1, Occult Mafia, Emerald of Maddox City, and the short story collection Assorted Absurdities, Tales of Kaiju Punk, and Other Genres. Hop on down to the description for Amazon links to all four books. Enjoy whichever ones you read, and enjoy the video. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Omni Viewer, and I'm just going to do a straight unboxing video today. This is not a review. This is just opening the box to see what's inside, because I want to have a record that says everything in this box arrived as it was supposed to. This, in case you're wondering, is my Kickstarter reward for backing the Simon Animation Collection. That was last year, I believe. And it's something that Simon's done. Simon does a lot of tabletop hobby board games, not like Warhammer, there's no assembly per se, but you know, in that vicinity, in that general genre. And they recently partnered up with Warner Brothers, I guess, to do the animation collection with three different properties, Looney Tunes, Scooby-Doo, and Teen Titans Go. I didn't say it was all a great decision, but me personally, I had to back the Looney Tunes portion. You could choose if you wanted all three or just one of them. I'm a Looney Tunes fan. I had to get the Looney Tunes one. So... Let's take a look inside, shall we? Just going to get this open. I'll probably be skipping to when the box is fully open. Okay. Out they come. All right. So far, everything looks to be in order. What was supposed to come is the main box, the official expansion, and all this stuff is, of course, available through retail. And this particular thing, which is a Kickstarter exclusive expansion, or at least that's how it was billed, with uh, two, four, six, eight extra characters that otherwise would not be available in retail. So, looks like the box has arrived intact, but. Now I'm going to open each of them to see if the stuff inside came the way it was advertised. All right, we'll start with the core box. Looney Tunes Mayhem core box. Get the lid off. All right, here, it's coming. There we go. So... We have the set of board tiles. They're all packaged together. These, I believe, go on the bases to denote the teams. Four of them, four figures. That looks like it all lines up. Got the pack of cards. Have a mayhem dice as well as four other sets of dice. Those all look good. But the main concern is whether or not the minis themselves came out looking good. So, oh, looks like the directions and extra tile pieces are underneath. They all look okay. All right, figures themselves. Here we go. Oh, a little bit of tape holding it in place. All right, so in the core box, are Taz, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and Elmer Fudd. Let's see. They all look pretty good. Elmer's leaning forward pretty far, but uh, that seems to be an intentional choice with the pose. Let's see. Daffy... Ooh, uh... Daffy's eyes look a little bit wonky, but uh, that seems to be the only major issue I can see. Bugs. Bugs looks okay. 
Full 360 looks pretty good right there. And Taz. Hey, Taz actually looks like the best one of the whole bunch. Kind of surprising, but uh, yeah, Taz came out looking okay. All right, so Core Box looks good. Let's see what the next one holds. The obvious next step to go with is the expansion. The official expansion, that is. The one that will also be in stores when this game is fully released. There we go. The main idea here is the extra characters, but beneath it we also have the expected tiles, character cards. That all looks to be in order. Special rules for certain characters. Come on, get back in there. All right, how did these figures turn out? There were a couple of issues with the main set, but let's see how these ones do. So, the expansion comes with Wily e. Coyote, the Roadrunner, Tweety, and Sylvester. So, Coyote, hmm, Wily's looking pretty good. Nice pose right there. Definitely looks like him. No real paint issues. Roadrunner. <laughs> Definitely a recognizable pose there. And again, don't see many paint issues here. Tweety. Tweety looks a little bit bigger than usual, but I guess that was necessary. Not seeing any issues with him either. He looks good. Sylvester. So Lester also looks good, though his pupils kind of blend into his face. Which, uh, given that he's all black and his eyes are black, I guess that was a little hard to avoid. But otherwise, expansion's looking good. Now on to the extra goodies. Alright, here's the Kickstarter exclusive expansion. And this is the whole reason I backed the game, specifically. So let's see if these extra figures look as good as the others. Once again, we have the special rules, character sheets. Those all look to be in order. Have these extra tile things. All right. Here are the main guys. Is there tape? Yes. So this set contains Speedy Gonzales, Boghorn Leghorn, Penelope Pussycat, Pepe Le Pew, Yosemite Sam, Marvin the Martian, Porky Pig, and Lola Bunny quite an array so let's see foghorn foghorn's definitely the biggest of these whole of this whole line and he looks pretty good very cocky expression if you will speedy like tweety is a bit bigger than he would otherwise be but looks good i'm not seeing any major paint issues or anything this guy, who I know some of you probably aren't happy to see, but so what? He's got a very dynamic pose. There are only really two colors, and it looks good to me. Penelope also looks good. Again, two colors like Pepe, but yeah, I see no issues on her. Sam here. Hey, Sam looks really good. Got a nice pose, good paint job. Yeah, no issues with him. Marvin. Ah, Marvin doesn't have the same pupil problem that Sylvester does. Yeah, he looks good. Porky. Interesting, Porky's got a hat. It's unusual. Um, but otherwise, again, I see no major issues. On the back, his arm that's behind him almost blends in with the rest of his body, but there's enough definition there. 
And Lola... Lola's looking good. And you know what I mean by that. I mean as a figurine, of course. I see no issues with her either. And it's the original design, not that awful one they went with for Space Jam and New Legacy. Okay, so everything looks to be in order. The game arrived pretty much as I hoped it would. Now I need to actually try playing it, and you might be seeing a review of that in the days to come. For now, though, I have an official record that everything arrived as it should be. Only major issue I saw was that Daffy's eyes were painted a little weird, but hey, maybe I'll be able to touch that up myself. I've got paint. Anyway, the, 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 that's all, folks. Congratulations, you reached the end. If you enjoyed this video, you might want to consider supporting us on Patreon. Of course, the other way to support us is to go to Amazon and check out our books. Operation Red Dragon, The Daikaiju Wars Part 1, The Occult Mafia, Emerald of Maddox City, and Assorted Absurdities, Tales of Kaiju Punk, and other genres. Also, check the description for links to DeviantArt and other platforms we operate. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.